Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the second portion of our concert this evening. Uh, my name is Jason Clemens, and before we get to the concert ensemble, and uh, we are lucky because we get to be in this room every day. We've been bouncing around a little bit to uh, give the other bands a chance to play on our home turf, but we love being up here in the auditorium. Great way to start the morning. Just an awesome way to start working with 62 wonderful young people, working hard, practicing, getting music ready. 805 is not always everybody's favorite time, but they do a great job of coming in with a great attitude and working every day. Our opening piece tonight was Rough Riders by Carl King. It was a gallop. The point of a gallop is to get everybody whipped up into a frenzy, and then uh, we're going to kind of settle everybody back down with our next number here. We have a Bach chorale, If Thou Be Near. Bach wrote this for him to play as a duet with his second wife, Anna Magdalena. So the two of them, you know, we've been trying to talk with the students, kind of get in your minds. Anna Magdalena singing, Bach there at the piano, and the two of them just kind of have this wonderful relationship. She's singing about how much they love each other, and it's just going back and forth between the two of them. So without further ado, here's If Thou Be Near. Well, our final piece this evening is one of those that I kind of always wait for the chance to play it every five years. You know, we don't want the students to play something twice in the, over the course of their high school career, so every five years we get to play some of our favorite tunes, and uh, this one gets to be up. This next one is Spanish Triptych. It's three movements that the composer Jan de Han wrote when he was thinking about the spot that he always goes to on the coast of Spain to compose every year. It kind of takes a little working vacation and get some inspiration in this particular piece he wrote about the place that he goes for inspiration. So three movements long. The first one represents some cliffs nearby where he uh, always goes to work. The second is this little mountain village. We call it a quirky little fishing village up in the hills. 
And the last one is the Peñón de Ifash, which is my favorite one, or excuse me, the last one is the Sierra Cabernia, and it uh, represents the mountains that he sees off in this it's distance every day as he's working, and it has a wonderful kind of dark brooding opening and then turns to a nice happy major key there at the end. So uh, thank you so very much for coming this evening. Thank you for finding parking. I know that was probably half the battle of getting yourself in here this evening. So uh, a couple of very other quick very thank yous. Big thank you so much to our administration. I know it's, it takes a lot to get all of these students all in first period to have band all at the same time. You know, 300 students, that's almost a quarter of the school. So for them to do the logistics just to make that happen every day. We really appreciate that. And then all the bouncing around as we go from marching band to concert band. So we appreciate them so very, very much and the school board and you as a community. I'll tell you, it is just an absolute pleasure to work here in Shaker. Uh, these students, we try to tell them all the time, they don't know how well good they have it here because all of you just are so supportive of music and the arts. And we are so very, very grateful as a conducting staff for all of you. So thank you for just being a part of this and making this a wonderful place for the arts and for Shaker and for all of these students to have a fantastic experience here in band. Big thank you to our music, our band boosters. I know I, I can't see in the lights, but I know some of our officers are here with us tonight, Sharon Lowenkamp and uh, Lori Silver. Thank you to them and all the others. And uh, we got Chuck Tisdale up in the light booth there. So, uh, uh, speaking of Chuck, uh, up there in the light booth taking care of sound and lights for us tonight. So thank you very much. And without further ado, here is Spanish Trip. One final thing the students wanted me to point out to you is that we should hold all applause to the end. They don't want their parents to be the one that randomly claps in between movements. So if you want to embarrass them, go for it. But if not, we can hold applause all the way up to the very end. We appreciate that.